Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And thanks for all the Patreons that are helping me support my whiskey journey. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. And remember, folks, it's Just Whiskey. Today, we are going to be reviewing an independent bottling of Ben Nevis from <clears throat> the Ingle Red Independent Bottlers from Scotland. They bought um, Ben Nevis New Make and put it in a single cask, a single first fill ex bourbon cask. And this is cask number 685. It is aged for 13 years exclusively in this one X first fill bourbon cask. It was filled on February 2008 and bottled on August of 2021. And this is bottle 120 of only 215 total bottles from this cask. This is a 700 milliliter bottle, and it comes in at a whopping 62.8% ABV. This is strong stuff. <laughs> I've never had a Ben Nevis before. At the same time of this release, they released a sister cask, which was cask number 680 three for 13 years as well and that one was exclusively matured in a refill uh, ex bourbon cask so I did not buy that I did not try that but if there's any Norfolk whiskey groups mem members out there that would like to trade trade a sample um, I'd be all for that Okay, um, I'm going to read a little bit on their box because I think it's interesting and I want to put it in perspective with something else. So I think it's relevant um, where they got their name from. Okay, Viking sagas and old legends often tell a story of magical swords, sharper, stronger, and fiercer than any other with names such as Grimm or Excalibur. Archaeologists have now proved that there might be some truth to the legends. They have found swords in northern Europe made from steel of a quality that was not to be seen for another thousand years. Swords that were more exclusive and powerful than any of the Viking era. Swords engraved with a name on the blade like Ingelred. This is our inspiration and the name carried proudly in every bottle of our whiskey. The Ingle Red Sword ensure, ensures a whiskey that is a cut above the rest. I like the little pun there at the end. Um, and then <clears throat> I'll wrap it up with the next uh, paragraph. The legend of Ingle Red is over a thousand years old. The Ingle Red Sword combined the best of two worlds, the materi materials and knowledge from the Far East to make high carbon steel and the exceptional skills of Viking blacksmiths. Ingelred is a fiercely independent company owned and run by descendants of Vikings. We specialize in bottling uniquely matured whiskey, bringing together the craftsmanship of Scottish whiskey heritage and original Nordic innovation. So they're legit, and maybe Highland Park could take a cue from them. All righty. You want to see the front of the box, not the back. All right. On the nose. Vanilla cream. A little bit of barnyard funk. And a, a, it's a little perfumey in the background. On the palate. Hold on to your hats, folks. <clears> 
<clears throat> intense, robust, thick, vicious, vicious. Yeah, it is vicious. <clears throat> Viscous. A little bit of melon. A little bit of fermented fruit. Pinch of salt. It's slightly sweet with a very long finish that transcend, transitions into a slightly bitter, dry finish with a bit of a peppery oak bite to it and the salt lingers on your lips. Very long finish. Um, you can certainly drink this neat. Um, you, by drinking it neat, it's got more of that thick, creamy, tongue coating sensation. But I found that adding, it, it takes water very well. I mean, at 62.8%, it definitely does. And I'd recommend that you add water to it. Um, for a two ounce pour, I'd recommend you easily a teaspoon of water um, and then and then take it from there. But by adding the water, I think it it, it brings out the complexities a, l a little bit more. Um, whereas drinking it neat, again, you get more of that, uh, the wow factor, the robust, creamy. You're getting more of the texture as cast strength, you're picking up more of the complexities when you add um, a decent amount of water. Uh, a drop or two is not going to do it, although, you know, have fun. I'd recommend at least a teaspoon, maybe even more. <clears throat> um, this came out a few short months ago, and I believe the pre-sale on this was about $120, I believe. Um, and right now, I believe it's going for about $140. Okay. Um, how would I score this? I'll give it a solid 87. Yep, solid 87. I can't find anything wrong with it. Um, I am curious to see what the refill sister cask uh, is compared to this. Um, and again, I've never had Ben Nevis, so this is my first experience with that. All right, so that wraps up my Inglered single cask Ben Nevis 13 year um, offering. Um, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks for the Patreons out there, and please subscribe. Come on my journey and share the ride. Hats off to you all. Take care, folks.